Uh, welcome back everybody. Two days in a row, I'm back here with another one of these semi-live videos. Hannah helped me out big time here, our oldest uh, daughter, our oldest child behind the camera tonight. So, whew, Blackstone air fryer combo on high. But we're not using the air fryer tonight, we're just using the griddle top. That's the 36 inch griddle with the hood. Air fryer, one of the biggest sellers on planet Earth this year. You know what, I think all the smash burgers that I've ever made, including an upcoming chicken. First time ever, chicken smash burger coming on Blackstone's social media. I don't think I've ever done a wild game smash burger, which is insane because, you know, I am the original Rocky Mountain meat hunter. So, I've got my quarter pound elk meatballs. These are 80% ground elk from my elk last year with 10% bacon, 10% beef fat, beef suet. It's the term we used to use back in the day. And they're ready to go. We're losing light, so let's get it going. Okay, I've got olive oil right here down on the griddle top. And we're blasting hot tonight. I will tell you guys, if you're doing smash burgers, if you're doing, doing steaks, you want to be as hot as possible because the sear is paramount. That's what makes a good steak and that's what makes a good smash burger. Now come here, I'll tell you one more thing. I don't even get involved with the whole smash burger versus traditional burger controversy. I like them both. This year I have seen so much confrontation, people going at each other on social media. Uh, you know, I don't see what the big uh, fuss is with smash burgers. I tasted one and they were pretty stupid. Other people saying, I can't, you know, they're both delicious. I will tell you, if you say that, if you say that you think smash burgers are disgusting, you probably have never had one or have never had one that's cooked correctly. But I'm not anti-regular burger. I love a big old thick burger. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like, you know, me traveling and I happen into like a certain kind of pub or a bar and grill and they just have a delicious, you know, thick burger. So I like them both if they're both cooked correctly. Come on over here to the grill. And uh, here we go, down with our quarter pound uh, meatballs here. And bear with me here while I clean up a little gunk off my griddle top. I've got my Blackstone parchment paper. Uh, these are ones that they make in conjunction with the press and sear burger tool. Hey, you don't have to buy it, but I actually use both kinds. I use uh, regular Reynolds brand wax paper and parchment paper, and I find that the Blackstone's formulation does work way better. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, before they came out with this, I used the other stuff, and this just worked way better. There we go. So, you know, the secret with a smash burger is you're going super thin. Some people like to go thinner than this, and you could probably do that with a brick or, you know, your own kind of, your own proprietary uh, smasher. But um, these are pretty darn thin. And the secret is, you know, what the concept is, rather, you're trying to get the bottom half of that pressed. There's less real estate. The meat is spread out. It's super thin, so there's more area that is seared, that is caramelized, you know, on the outside. Now I gotta quit talking, and I need to get going here. So we can season these burgers. Now season them any way you want to. You know, I've been on a big Blackstone whiskey burger uh, seasoning kick lately. You can use that. Uh, but tonight I'm just gonna use like a salt, pepper, and garlic mixture. That's super hot. You can see my, <laughs> I'm going quick because my hand's burning on the griddle top tonight. All right. Mm -hmm. So this is just a salt, pepper, and garlic mixture right here. I think there's a little bit of dried onion in there as well. People ask me, you know, what do I season my burgers with? Well, if you don't have a favorite seasoning, you can't go wrong with salt, pepper, and garlic. I would call that pretty much, you know, like the trifecta of uh, burger seasoning. And actually the grizzle, the griddle is really hot tonight. I'm actually burning my arm. I'm on high heat. I think my griddle top is probably 600 degrees plus right now. So we got these, I'm gonna check them. Oh yeah, they're looking perfect already. So what we're gonna do here in the interim, come over here, Hannah. Picked up some brioche burger buns. These are great. You know, you think about brioche a lot when it comes to French toast, but why not? Look at that. That is a delicious butter and egg infused bun. So why not use those for your hamburgers as well? 
go ahead and put a little butter on the inside. If you're doing this for a ton of people, go ahead and use the uh, the butter wheel. My buddy Butter Bam uses that all the time. So we'll get some of these buttered up. Isn't that a saying from back in the day? Do you know which side of what side of the bread your butter's on or something? Ah, I can't think of it. I tried to pull an old cliche. Do you know who butters your bread? <laughs> something like that. Ah. All right, so let's go back over to the grill top, Hannah. Let's see where we're at with the sear, folks. Uh, Actually, that's looking really good, so let's flip them. Right there. That is a smashed burger patty right there. See that sear, okay? These aren't a boiled burger, okay? These aren't a burger that was cooked in a microwave. That is your ticket in flavor right there. I'll just go ahead, season the other side. You don't have to season the other side, but I like a lot of seasoning. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put these buns in there right down over here. Love doing buns. This is just a typical weekday dinner at our house here tonight, by the way. Love doing buns on the griddle when I got my first Blackstone many years ago. In addition to the meat cooking capabilities, uh, the fact that the bun came out perfectly toasted was one of the huge uh, selling points for me, things that really impressed me. So now we're gonna come over here and check these buns. Look at that. I mean, that was literally just the time that it took for me to go butter another bun. So let's pull these real quick. Yeah, those are, look at that, Hannah. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm gonna plop these right over here. Those are perfect. Super quick, you wanna be quick when you're cooking on the griddle. Interactive cooking, if you're high heat like this, you have to be quick. Uh, you might wanna, you know, if you can't go this quick, you might wanna not have as many burger patties out here. Now I'm talking, and I'm not paying attention. So before I uh, destroy these burgers, let's go down with some cheese real quick here, folks. This is American. I definitely like to use some kind of a processed cheese if you're doing, you know, a traditional smash burger here. Careful your hand there, hand. I don't want you to get burned. And uh, a little bit of water down on the griddle top. Create some steam. And this should melt the cheese in just a few seconds. So seven and a half minutes. This is real life, real cooking, no script. Uh, check out the mountain view tonight, by the way. Another pretty sunset tonight here. Let's see what we're looking like in cheese world, Hannah. All right, go in there for that. That cheese is just about perfect, friend. Okay, so these are done. I'm gonna pull them. Look at this, we're at like eight minutes, maybe, okay? Pull those like that. Get them off of that, off of this uh, grill. Okay, come over here, Hannah, focusing on the buns. And I'll grab our little platter. Turn my griddle off over here. Here we go. Let's make a few of these up. So look at that. Beautifully toasted buns. I mean, you can see the yellow from the butter. Let me find you one that's even better. That looks perfect, but I'm going to get one that's, yeah, there we go. Picture perfect. And we'll do three of these side by side by side. Okay. Uh, garnish them any way you want to. So let's just use a little bit of mayo. You could use lettuce on there, whatever you want to use. Uh, let's see. Get the pickles ready. Let's grab these patties. There's a perfect patty. You know what? I need to find my camera too, Hannah, because I need to get uh, some photos for the... You have a camera on you? Sweet. We'll get ready here a little bit later. I'm going to get you to get some pictures for me. And then, folks, we're just going to put some pickles on top. I'm going to show those. These are pretty good pickles. I'm more into the refrigerated pickles. But if you want to get a jarred pickle off the shelf, you can't go wrong with these famous Dave pickles. They're really good. I always get these in a the giant uh, container at uh, Costco. All right. Oh, folks, by the way, if you're just tuning in, make sure you join me next week. If you're living up around, you know, like uh, the northern part of Iowa, Minneapolis area, if you live near um, Mitchell, South Dakota, I'm going to be at the famous Corn Palace. Come on, Mustard. At the famous Corn Palace in Mitchell, South Dakota next Wednesday. Cooking and filming a video. Look at that. I'm going to hold the camera, and we're going to try to see if we can hand it to get a still shot for me. Let me hold it up here over the griddle. There you go, Hannah. There's Hannah getting a 
shot of my burgers. Take a look at that. Alrighty. Nothing more to do but give it a try. Look at this. We're at 10 minutes, by the way. Started with raw meat. 10 minutes later, look at that. I mean, you go to any kind of a restaurant and you get an absolutely fresh burger. That's your wait time. And that's what I did here at the house. I'll tell you what, I'm going to... Just have you, but we're losing our light completely, but hopefully that still looks glorious. Let's give it a try. I've said this in some other videos earlier this spring. It takes me back, reminds me of stopping at a good, you know, back in the day when little local tasty freezes, little ice cream stands had really killer burgers this reminds me growing up in the 70s and the 80s when we would stop at those places rarely we hardly ever ate out as a kid and um mm, this takes me back so good that's a simple smart smash best smart burger <laughs> smash it's blue that's a simple smash burger do it on the blackstone what else is new i have a new uh, 22 inch griddle that i have to season so I'm going to be filming probably a video the next couple days up in the mountains, uh, seasoning that for Blackstone social media. So check that out. And I think that's probably it for tonight, folks. But thank you for joining me. Oh, that looks so good. Until next time, everybody, this is Todd. I'm saying praise the Lord and pass the burgers.